I'm back. Rhodes rants on Star Wars. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Join the Rhodes Squadron. Today, let's talk about the Mandalorian and some info that is leaking out by way of making Star Wars and Jason Ward. It has to do with an enclave with an armorer in Star Wars The Mandalorian. A secret Mandalorian enclave. It says, I was recently discussing the Mando's costume and how it changes over the course of the series. A source asked me if I was aware that the, his suit uses Scarif Trooper parts, and I was. The source then asked if I was aware that, as the story goes, he ends up with Death Trooper parts from Rogue One Death Troopers, which I was not aware of. I asked if the pieces are black, and they responded that the costume moves towards a chrome look like the helmet we've seen in the first photo that was released. Supposedly, there's a secret enclave of Mandalorians our hero is affiliated with. It is in this enclave that our armorer resides. It appears this woman is the key to his major upgrades. It's almost like she's Q from James Bond for our hero. But I might be overstepping that comparison. It isn't clear how much of the costume is older Mandalorian armor and how much of the parts he acquires in his adventures are misadventures, especially as the story goes. But I did see him fighting a lot of Death Troopers, and I'm assuming that's where he gets those pieces. Wow, that's going to be cool. That is the kind of cool when you think about it. That's, that is kind of cool when you think about it as the Empire is dying post-Return of the Jedi, and the Rogue One Death Troopers are about to be a thing of the past. It also sounds like the Enclave is going to be really inspiring for future Star Wars content. I keep hearing there's a lot of Mandalorian culture building through the Enclave in this series. As his armor is upgraded through about five stages, we learn things about the Mando culture. It isn't clear if this goes beyond what we know from the Clone Wars and Rebels. But I am guessing that will be reiterated or developed in the series. On a side note, and this is kind of interesting, it seems like all the classic aliens from the original trilogy era are back. We've seen Jawas, but it, it goes further than that. Someone said if they had a vintage action figure, they're probably going to show up. That's cool. So, in addition to a lot of classic aliens, there's a woman who is a Mando armor, they use Death Trooper parts to forge some pieces. And we'll have lots of Mando culture building. I'm still hoping for specifics on that culture stuff, as it all seems like a no-brainer. So what do we think about that, Road Squadron? Um, the classic Aliens part is extremely cool. Um... Also, I love the idea of, of getting to know more about the Mandalorian culture. It was some of the best stuff about the Clone Wars and Rebels. Um, I love the idea that um, because this is a television format, they get to sort of take their time in developing this story as it's going to run the course of 8 to 12 episodes. So, we should get some of the best story development we've gotten. In my opinion, this may end up being Disney's prized possession at this point. Um, because of the kind of storytelling that's going to end up coming out of this show. Um, I don't know. I, know. I know that's not going to please everybody because uh, so far there's been no mention of Jedi and Sith in this show. 
But again, I believe that's coming. Uh, not on this show, but in another form. Probably the DB, uh, the Benhoff and Weiss trilogy that's coming, I believe, will be heavy Jedi, heavy Sith. Um, but we don't know for sure yet. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Join the Road Squadron. Peace them out. Till next time.